And to follow up on that, um, both the CBC and KPAC have endorsed Julie Sue to officially become the next Labor Secretary, in part because, quote, the inclusion of an AANHPI as a Cabinet Secretary is long overdue. Um, is she on the President's shortlist? So not going to get into uh, uh, who's on the president's short list or not, uh, but I do want to address uh, the fact that we recognize that uh, it is a priority for the AAPI community, and we are uh, and we are proud that through our work with members of Congress and stakeholders, we've made the most diverse administration that ever, ever, not even in modern uh, politics, but ever. And so, uh, so, and we believe we have, and, and it's it's facts. Uh, we believe we have a historic uh, number of AAPI appointees at the level, including three and cabinet, uh, all of whom are women, which is ha uh, Vice President Harris, as you know, uh, 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 Ty uh, as well. And so uh, we have a number of AAPI ambassadors like Michelle Kwan and Chris Liu. And it's it's also about 14% of our appointees identified as Asian American, Native Hawaiian, or Pacific Islander. So this is a, a president that has made a priority to make sure that he has an administration uh, that looks like the country uh, and, uh, and, and that is incredibly diverse and historically diverse. So that is a commitment that he's going to continue to make. Uh, I'm just not going to get ahead of the president's decision at this time. And then switching topics on a topic that you brought up uh -oh. um, <laughs> with John Kirby earlier oh. when you said that neither you or uh, he are, have hit your prime yet. Um, does the president have anything to say about this national conversation that was sparked after a claim that was seemingly made in defense of the president that Nikki Haley um, is not in her prime because women hit their prime in their 20s, 30s, and 40s. You know, I'm not going to comment directly to that. That is something uh, clearly um, uh, that needs to be addressed by. Um, right, I only but, bring it up because you, you no, no, brought no, it no. up. No, 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 no. I'm going to say something. Just give me a second. I, I have something to say. Um, when you look at this president's administration, and we have talked about the numbers before. Um, it is there are more women uh, in his senior in his senior advisor in his senior staff role than men, and I think when you think about that, you you see a president that truly um, that truly takes pride uh, and takes uh, deep consideration into making sure and meaningful consideration into making sure uh, there are diverse voices uh, around him. And I think that's, impo that's important. And, I, and so what I want to say is just watch his actions. Watch what he's done. You just asked me uh, about, um, uh, about, uh, uh, about Julie Sue, And I laid out what the president has done in having the most diverse administration. And so I think all you have to do is look at the numbers, look at the people around him, look what he's been able to do, look how he's lift up different communities, including women. And I'm just going to leave it there. It is clearly, truly a priority for him. And uh, I'll just leave it there.